أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحلل اقتتم من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So today uh, our linear control system is uh, lecture number 11 So uh, <coughs> In today's lecture, we will uh, study a very important uh, uh, topic which is known as the uh, state transition matrix. So, uh, as the name uh, suggests, the state transition matrix, it, it actually gives the information about the states uh, at any time in the uh, time domain. So, uh, uh, actually, as we know that uh, we have seen uh, uh, this matrix uh, SI minus A, uh, that is the uh, inverse. This matrix uh, which we have uh, seen, that is, uh, if we take the inverse of this matrix, uh, we, uh, we call it as the resolvent matrix. Uh, it is called the resolvent uh, matrix uh, or the state transition matrix. Okay, so this is uh, the state uh, transition matrix. Uh, so it is uh, actually in S2 mean. Okay, so we have this is in S2 mean and uh, denoted by denoted by denoted by phi of S. Okay, so we represent this matrix uh, as a phi of S. Uh, so so in the time domain, how we can obtain it? Very simple. If you want to take it in uh, time domain, so we just need to take the Laplace inverse Laplace transform of this uh, uh, um, resolvent matrix or state transition matrix. So what we'll get is the that uh, state transition matrix in the uh, uh, state transition matrix in time domain. Also, it is uh, known that uh, uh, this inverse uh, S I uh, a minus inverse. Uh, so, so inverse. This uh, uh, this can be written as in the form of a series. Uh, so that will be i over s plus uh, a over s square plus a square over s cube plus up to so on. Okay. So now, if we take the inverse Laplace transform of uh, this function, so inverse Laplace transform of s i minus a. So that will be. Uh, that will be simply uh, that will be simply i. So uh, we have this uh, a times t plus a square t square by two factorial uh, plus a cube t cube by three factorial plus so on, and that can be uh, written as uh, as the e raised power a t. So this is uh, also known as the uh, this is also uh, called uh, the matrix exponential. Uh, it is also called as the matrix exponential. Matrix exponential uh, or the state transition matrix. State transition matrix. So let's uh, have uh, uh, a look at some examples to find, we will find some uh, also the properties of this uh, uh, state transition matrix. So uh, uh, actually as we will uh, continue, as we will uh, be going uh, through this subject, so we will see the importance of this uh, state transition matrix that how helpful it, it would be for our analysis and all the function, all the uh, mean system analysis that we will be going to uh, perform under this uh, linear control system subject. So let's uh, look at the example. And the example uh, says that uh, uh, d by dt, if we take the derivative of this, and that can be uh, written as uh, e raised power at. Okay, and uh, we need to evaluate. Evaluate. It, uh, okay, so we need to find out zero. We need to find this uh, value too. So, uh, so that will be uh, quite easy to uh, 
solve this. So as we know that e raised to the power a t is can be written as i plus a t plus a square t square by 2 factorial plus uh, a4 t4 by uh, 3 factorial plus up to so on plus up to a power k t power k divided by k factorial. Uh, so this is a uh, I missed the term here so sorry uh, so that will be one uh, term here so a cube t cube by 3 factorial okay so that's uh, how we can write the series so if we differentiate this uh, series so if we differentiate this series as d it is for a t by d t so that will be uh, the derivative of this term. So that will be the derivative of this whole term. I plus a t plus a square t square by 2 factorial plus up to plus uh, a power k t power k over k factorial. So if we uh, differentiate this, what we will get is this will be uh, 0. So this will be a and then so on a square t plus a cube t square by 2 factorial plus up to so on and then uh, if we just uh, uh, take this a as common out of this equation so what we will be left with one i sorry i plus a t plus a square t square by 2 factorial and so on so simply this is again uh, a e raised to power a t. So that's uh, how we can see that uh, the derivative of this uh, 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 transition matrix is simply matrix A system matrix uh, times e raised to power a t. Okay. Now uh, that can be also uh, written as because we have just uh, uh, this uh, we have taken it as that uh, on the on the left side uh, on the uh, left side. So we can uh, bring this matrix A uh, towards the right side. So how that we can be written as then? So if we just uh, from equation we just call it as uh, some equation A. So from this equation A, so From equation a, so d by dt uh, for e raised to power a t can be written as if we just uh, take this uh, if we just take a outside from the uh, 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 on the right side actually. So what we will uh, get again here is e raised to power a t times a. So what that actually means is that if we have uh, pre multiply uh, this transition matrix with A or post multiply this transition matrix with A so that both uh, terms will be same. So uh, in short we can uh, write this as uh, D by DT e raised to power AT is simply equal to A e raised to power AT which is equal to e raised to power AT times A. So this is one of the property that uh, we can uh, have this that uh, A times A if A is pre-multiplied or post-multiplied with this uh, transition matrix uh, that will be the same. Now uh, if we uh, want uh, this uh, initial value had uh, for the first derivative so that will be uh, d by dt e raised to power at okay so that will be equal to a times e raised to power a t now if we just uh, put t equals to 0 put t equals to 0 here so uh, phi dot of 0 will be simply a times e raised to power 0 so e raised to power 0 is uh, 1 or uh, here it will be a uh, identity matrix with the dimension of a okay so similarly uh, we can have this uh, uh, state transition matrix uh, integration. Uh, so how we can uh, get this? So let's uh, uh, look at this example. So in this example, uh, what it says that uh, uh, evaluate evaluate uh, from 0 to t e raised to power a t 
uh, sorry d theta where theta is the dummy variable of integration now we just have to integrate it so uh, its solution will be simply 0 to t uh, e raised to the power a theta d theta so uh, 0 to t so we can write this uh, in terms of uh, this uh, series i uh, uh, sorry uh, identity matrix i a theta plus a square theta square by 2 factorial plus up to so on and uh, that will be d theta so integrating uh, each term separately if you integrate each term separately so what we will get this this will be simply i uh, and from integrating from 0 to t it will be uh, i theta and uh, that will be t minus 0 so it will simply be i t okay so similarly uh, that will be uh, that will be a t square by a t square by 2 factorial and similarly a uh, uh, a square t cube by 3 factorial and so on now <coughs> pre multiplying pre uh, multiplying a on both sides so if we pre multiply this a on both sides so it will be 0 to uh, t uh, e raised power a theta d theta that will be uh, equal to a times t that will be a times t uh, plus uh, a square t square by 2 factorial plus up to so on so uh, that would be simply now uh, what we can do is uh, add i uh, identity matrix on both sides so that will be i plus a 0 to t e raised to power a theta d theta so that will be equal to i plus a t plus a square t square by 2 factorial and so on so that will be again simply e raised to the power a t so uh, that will be uh, uh, that we can uh, find out uh, we have to take this uh, identity matrix on the other side because we just need to find this uh, integral value so that will be uh, simply e raised to the power a t minus i now we multiply, multiplying a inverse on both sides so uh, if we pre multiply inverse on both sides so that will be e raised to the power a t minus i so that will be 0 to t e raised to the power a theta d theta so that will be the integration um, uh, of this uh, matrix of this uh, uh, state transition matrix obviously uh, a inverse must exist to find out this uh, integral if a inverse does not exist obviously there will be no solution for that okay now let's uh, look at an example so that we can find out some uh, state transition matrix uh, uh, so let's have an example and in, the, in this example uh, we have uh, a matrix A which is given as uh, 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3. So, <coughs> first of all we need to find phi of s which is actually s i minus uh, A inverse. So that will be simply s minus 1. Uh, 2 s plus 3 okay so that will be how its inverse will be simply uh, s into s plus 3 plus 2 uh, times s plus 3 s 1 minus 2 so so that uh, that can be written as uh, that can be uh, written as uh, this one uh, will be 1 over uh, s square plus 3 s plus 2 and that will be s plus 3 1 minus 2 s and uh, so that uh, uh, that can be uh, factorized as uh, s plus 1 s plus 2 s plus 3 1 minus 2 s so uh, we will take it inside 
so that will be s plus 3 over s plus 1 into s plus 2 1 over s plus 1 s plus 2 minus 2 over s plus 1 s plus 2 and that will be simply s over s plus 1 s plus 2 so from here to next step uh, i will do the partial fraction and uh, i hope you uh, know how to do the partial fraction so i will let it uh, for you so just uh, do this uh, partial fraction by yourself so that you can have some uh, revision on it so that will be this one one over s plus one minus one over s plus two so that will be two over s plus one and plus two over s plus two and this will be minus 1 over s plus 1, 2 over s plus 2. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to find out the uh, uh, state transition matrix in time domain. So, what we can do is we will take the inverse Laplace transform. Okay. So, taking taking inverse inverse Laplace transform so in time domain we will get this uh, say transition matrix phi of t so that will be written as e raised power a t so that will be simply 2 e raised power minus t minus e raised power minus 2 t and that will be e raised power minus t minus e raised power minus 2 t minus 2 e raised power minus t plus 2 e raised power minus 2 t and that will be my e raised power minus t and uh, plus uh, 2 e raised to the power minus 2 t okay now uh, let's uh, what the, this question actually also demands that show that uh, the uh, derivative for uh, uh, first derivative of this state transition matrix uh, uh, derived at 0 at point 0 that will again equal to the matrix a so it means that uh, uh, we need to show that uh, it further says that show that uh, phi first derivative of this transition matrix at 0 that is again simply a. So uh, we can do it simply. So we need to just uh, differentiate this uh, state transition matrix. So the derivative it will, uh, that we will obtain will be minus 2 e raised power minus t uh, plus 2 e raised power minus 2 t and that will be 2 e raised power minus t minus 4 e raised power minus 2 t and that will be minus e raised power minus t plus 2 e raised power minus 2 t and that will be e raised power minus t minus 4 e raised power minus 2 t okay so now uh, if you put uh, uh, 0 here so phi 0 so if you put 0 here so it will be 1 it will be again 1 and uh, minus 2 plus 2 that will be 0 okay so here it will be e raised power 0 is 1 minus 1 here it is uh, will be plus 2 so it will be simply 1 uh, so here it will be 0 uh, so it will be 1 2 minus 4 which is minus 2 and here it will be plus 1 minus 4 so that will be minus 3 so this is equal to a so that's uh, how we can obtain this so this is uh, this is also an exercise how we can obtain this uh, state transition matrix and uh, uh, if we differentiate it and uh, evaluate it at point zero so we can see that it is uh, simply the same matrix a okay let's uh, look at another example uh, here we have given a is equal to minus 1 0 0 minus 2 so we need to find this state transition matrix so that will be simply phi of s which is equal to s i minus a inverse so that will be simply uh, s plus 1 0 0 s plus 2 and we need to find the inverse of it so that will be uh, simply 1 over s plus 1 into s plus 2 uh, times the s plus 1 uh, sorry 1 over s plus 1 0 0 1 over s plus 2 uh, sorry so that will be simply s plus 1 0 0 s plus 2 so if you just uh, multiply it inside so what we will get is uh, 1 over s plus 2 0 0 1 over s plus 1 so taking the inverse Laplace transform so taking 
inverse Laplace transform. So what we will obtain is uh, uh, phi of t, which is equal to e raised power a t. Uh, that will be actually e raised power minus 2 t, 0, 0 e raised power minus t. Uh, did I make some mistakes? So, yep, there is a small mistake here. So, let's correct it. So, this is S, uh, this was S plus 2 and this was S plus 1. Okay. So this was the small mistake. So uh, for that it would be 1 over s plus 1 and that will be s plus 2. So that will be e raised power minus 1 t. And that will be e raised power minus 2 t. Okay. So here uh, that is very important in this uh, so scenario that we can see that if we have this diagonal matrix. So, uh, if this diagonal based system matrix is diagonal, so their uh, say transition matrix will be simply the exponents uh, uh, of those uh, diagonal values. Okay, so that we can see it's quite simple. Okay, let's uh, uh, look at another example in which we have the repeated uh, numbers in a matrix A. So, uh, example here we have a is equal to minus two one zero minus two. Okay. So here we can see that we have these two repeated values. Uh, it's okay. We need to find this phi of s. So that will be s i minus a inverse. So that will be simply um, s minus a is s plus 2, 1, 0, s plus 2, minus 1. Okay. So we need to take the uh, find the inverse of this matrix. Okay. So that will be simply 1 over uh, s plus 2 whole square uh, that will be uh, s plus 2 1 0 s plus 2 so multiplying it inside what we will get uh, 1 over s plus 2 1 over s plus 2 square 0 1 over s plus 2 so taking the inverse uh, Laplace transform taking the Inverse Laplace transform. So what we will uh, get is phi of t, which is equal to e to the power a t. So the inverse Laplace transform uh, of this uh, phi of s will be phi of t is for a t. So that will be equal to e to the power minus two t. Uh, t times e raised power minus 2t and that will be 0 and then e raised power minus 2t. So, uh, so in this uh, lecture actually we have seen uh, what the state transition matrix is and uh, uh, what uh, if we do its differentiation and how we can find out uh, the state transition matrix uh, uh, from the uh, uh, from the uh, st uh, system matrix A. Uh, so, and we have seen that sometimes uh, uh, S i minus A inverse uh, that matrix is known as the resolving matrix and that is also uh, known as the state transition matrix in the S domain. And if we just take the inverse Laplace transform, uh, so we will find the same transi uh, transition matrix in uh, time domains and that uh, in time domain it is uh, sometimes also known as the matrix exponential. Okay. So, uh, these are the different names that we have given to, to these matrices and uh, in the next lecture uh, we will inshallah uh, see uh, different uh, properties of these uh, state transition matrix. Uh, so I hope uh, you have understood so far. Uh, still if you have any questions uh, please feel free to uh, ask in the comments section. I uh, will try to answer as early as possible. Uh, so stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.